Well, happy day, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Snap Political. So glad you're with me in the building. Man, guys, what has been going on the house? What's wrong with the people? Man, I am so disappointed that they did not select Jim Jordan as the new house speaker. I don't understand it. I'm just so frustrated with the GOP right now. I don't know what to do. What's wrong with them? Let's tap into this video, good people. Let's tap into this video. To Capitol Hill now, Congressman Jim Jordan apparently just lost a secret ballot among House Republicans over his future as the nominee for speaker. 88 Republicans voted to support Jordan. 112 voted against him. Wow. So what happens next? Jay O'Brien and contributing correspondent Rachel Bate, both on Capitol Hill. All right, Jay, so he had already lost three votes. Then Republicans go behind closed doors. He loses the secret ballot. So is he now completely out of the picture? Yeah, Rachel Scott and I, Rachel, our senior congressional correspondent, and I are told that this secret ballot was a means of essentially trying to gauge the support Jordan had amongst House Republicans after those three failed ballots and the fact that Jordan picked up more no votes each time, right? On the first vote, he had 20. By the second, he had 22. By the third today, he had 25 Republicans voting against him. Okay, so initially they, they spoke about openly when they were talking about, you know, they, they were raising their hands. But now they go behind closed doors and people had a change of heart. Why? Or did they really have a change of heart initially anyway? And they just outwardly wanted you to believe that. And then today, you said the results there in that secret ballot, 112 Republicans by secret ballot said that they did not want Jim Jordan to stay in the race as speaker. Now, Jim Jordan I don't know why. has not yet emerged from that meeting. There are cameras on both of the doors to that room, so you can expect him to get questions from reporters of if he's actually dropping out of the race because of the results of that secret ballot or not. Every lawmaker who's walked out of that room and has been asked that question by me and others Others, I just ran upstairs here, has said you've got to ask Jim Jordan that question. So we'll hear from him presumably moments from now. But certainly the House Republican Conference telling Jim Jordan they do not want him to continue as their speaker designate, their candidate for speaker. All right, so Rachel, what do you see happening next? What are your sources telling you? I mean, there's no viable path. Here's some text messages I just got from Republicans uh, in the room. Uh, they don't have the confidence of him anymore. Uh, he has no path forward. Um, and let's remember wow. that last time lawmakers took a vote like this, where they, you know, used a secret ballot that basically allowed them to stay anonymous to say whether or not they would support Jordan, 55 Republicans said they did not want to. He took the issue that, to the House floor, and only about 25 of them were, you know, had the bravery to say it publicly on the record when their constituents well, fine. Uh, were That's pres good. pressing them to, to back Jordan. But now he's up to 112. That's more than double what it was just a week ago. And this really shows how this pressure campaign has really blown back on Jordan. Sure, there are some members who didn't have uh, the courage to vote against him on the floor when they were on record, but publicly in a secret ballot, uh, a majority of the conference doesn't want him, and it, it's hard to see how there's any path for him anymore. Why? All right, so, Rachel, you've also got some new reporting, I understand, on uh, those eight Republicans who originally voted to oust McCarthy. What's going on there? Yeah, this was a bid to actually save Jordan or try to try to save Jordan's speakership bid. The, a lot of the eight Republicans who voted to oust McCarthy had written a letter saying that they were willing to accept some sort of punishment from their other colleagues if it meant Jordan would actually be speaker. There were some moderate Republicans who said that any future speaker, they want that person to punish these members who ousted McCarthy. So these guys who ousted McCarthy, a lot of them big fans of Jim Jordan, had come out and said they would accept losing committee positions being kicked out of the Republican conference, which means that they couldn't actually uh, go into these private closed-door meetings that they have on a weekly basis, in return uh, for Jim Jordan becoming speaker. Obviously, that's not going to be enough to move people uh, right. because people are moving in the other direction. Wow. Got it. All right, Jay, so where do we go from here? 
looks like Kira, Jim Jordan's out. I mean, that's the reality. We already have heard from Republicans who have emerged from that meeting saying that they're considering bids for speaker. At least two by my count, Kevin Hearn is one of them, have told our colleagues in that hallway, that ugly hallway that you and I have seen so often where Republicans meet down the line from it, that they are jumping into the race for speaker. Kevin McCarthy walked out of that room, told our colleague John Parkinson, quote, unfortunately, Jim is no longer going to be the nominee. We will have to go back to the drawing board, back to the drawing board for House Republicans. Jim Jordan is out. They do not have the confidence in him amongst the House Republican conference. Wow. And it looks like, according to the uh, our, our colleagues in the hallway who are asking these lawmakers as they're leaving, looks like they're going to come back next week, have a candidate for him at the beginning of next week, and this process starts all over again. All right, it'll be interesting to see who indeed is uh, listed in that candidate forum. Jay, Rachel, thank you so much. Hi, yeah. everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Y'all, I really feel that... Take this off. I really feel that Byron Keith, I, I saw on um, another video that he might possibly be putting a bid in. I like him. I do. I feel like he's very vocal. He's not afraid to speak, you know, facts, truth, and he can definitely handle some issues for full-fledged forward. I just still really would like to know why they weren't feeling him. And that was a large number of people that once they got private, they were like, okay, I really got to just be honest. I real, I don't, you know, feel he's the best for the position. But based off some things that I saw in um, when... They were in Congress and they were, you know, putting forth the facts for with Biden and all the stuff that's transpired over the past six months. You know what was going on when they were calling the uh, whistleblowers in for the tech situation with um, the son. I can't think of his name right now. Um, yes, Hunter. He um, I mean, he was grilling it. I thought he was very, you know, well prepared, well versed, had stances. But, you know, hey, um. They didn't think so. So who do you guys think would be a great speaker of the house? If you're aware, I don't know, you know, these people, I have no earthly how they move in regards to who would be the best candidate. But I do know Byron Keith has stuck out when I heard that. I was like, okay, this is really, he might be, he might be the one. So hopefully his colleagues are also have, will have that faith if, if so they can elect him and they can do it in a prompt manner, because it looks like that there's, you know, that the, that the team, isn't working together and I'm talking about the GOP team you know they're not working together but maybe they are when they're speaking their mind and saying hey we want the best candidate even though I thought Jim Jordan was going to be a great one because he speaks out he is not afraid to say what's on his mind so are they looking for someone that's that vocal or are they looking for someone that can be pacified you know is that what's really going on here? So let me know what you think, guys. I am just disappointed because I was rooting for him. I really was. But failed three failed attempts. And you can go up to 15 attempts, I've, I've been told. I've, so if you can go up to 15, why don't they just keep trying for him until, but maybe it, it was going to continue to get lower and lower. So they just said, let me stop while we're ahead because it's not getting any better for him. So let me know who your choice is, how you feel about him not being um, elected and did, were, did you see it coming? Because I sure didn't. And if you found value in this content, guys, and want to see more political content like this, then let me know in the comments section. You guys have definitely given me a couple of recommendations. I truly appreciate you. Subscribe to the channel, share the video, and continue to think for yourself. Do your own research. Dig deep so you're clear and you can make informed decisions for your household. I love your support and I appreciate you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Yee.